Oh my god. I am literally so tired. It is my first day of general surgery. Woo! I don't really know what to expect, but all I do know is I have no idea what I'm doing. Definitely don't know how to assist in surgeries. And I'm hoping that I don't break the sterile field because that, that's probably my biggest nightmare. things I carry with me are my badge, my credit card in this thing, two pins, the inpatient list, and myself. It's important to stay light, not carry anything extra so you can get ready to move from hospital to hospital and not worry about anything. So recap of the day. How it happened was the PA gave us a quick tour of the hospital, showed us where to get our PPE, what size PPE we were. Also, she went through a simulation how to gown, glove, and scrub so that we are prepared for our first OR, even though we already had one of those in clinicals. She was nice enough to go through that again with us to kind of get rid of all those nerves. After that, we went over to the office of where we will be spending some of our days, and she taught us how to use the system. Tomorrow I am going to be in the outpatient office, then the day after that I'll be in surgery and in the hospital. So the way it works is three other students from my program with us and then there are two residents working with us at the same time. So we take turns, the students, one of us has to be on call every weekend and so not this weekend but the next weekend I will be on call with one of the surgeons and a resident. So yeah, I definitely know I need to practice my suture skills so I'll be doing that tonight. I am going to be practicing the buried interrupted subcuticular stitch. So that is the most common one used in general surgery. So I definitely need to practice this one. Luckily the patient is asleep in general surgery. So you don't really have to worry about causing the patient pain or feeling awkward if you mess up. So I have five soap notes due at the end of the week for my program. And then I have to log the patients that we saw today. We have certain key measures to meet. We need to meet 20 uh, pre-operative patients, 20 intraoperative patients, and 20 post-operative patients. Currently 5.47. Oh my God, I'm so tired. We just got an emergency appendectomy, so I'm about to go first assist, so I'm pretty excited for that. I have to go get my gloves and my gown, and then we will start. I am so tired. I don't feel like studying. I don't feel like working. I woke up so early today. No work. I just got out of my last day at general surgery. 
rotation. I just passed my car. But I ended on a really good note. I ended up suturing amazing for my last time. PA even said so. So I assisted in two surgeries. It was a bilateral inguinal laparoscopic hernia repair and then a debridement of like a deep sacral wound. The doctors I was working with, the PAs that I was working with, the staff were super friendly. Now I have to go home and study for my EOR exam tomorrow. I got out early today. It's about 12.30 in the afternoon. So that leaves me all day to cram for my EOR exam at 9 a.m. Wish me luck, guys. So you might be wondering what general surgery is. It's the rotation where obviously you see a bunch of surgeries you're in the operating room a ton the most common surgeries that I've seen so far are hernia repairs gallbladder removals, appendix removals but you see a bunch of surgeries you can basically find me in three to four places throughout this rotation the first being in the outpatient clinic we see patients there that are post-op make sure their incision sites are healing well and anything else that needs to be discussed the other type of patient is the one who is referred most likely a new patient to see if they actually need surgery. So what I do during that time is basically chart. Do I do all the charting at the office, I do vitals, I do a physical exam and then present that to the preceptor and obviously he will evaluate if the patient needs surgery. The next place you can find me is in the hospital doing rounds. Rounds are covering all the inpatient uh, patients. Go check on them, see how they're doing, if there's any overnight events, if their vitals are okay, if their labs are okay. You do the note yourself. After that, you go into surgery with the preceptor preceptor and then you follow up back and do rounds with the preceptor to see if there are any changes in the plan. But in the operating room, what is my role? My role in the operating room is to assist. I don't do any of the cutting. I hold retractors, I suction, I suture, I can maneuver the camera. If you're doing laparoscopic procedures, basically anything that the doctor needs help with, I'm like his extra set of hands. I think it's pretty fun to watch surgery. Um, it gets really interesting. You see the inside of the human body which you don't get to see quite often so I was really looking forward to this rotation 